Welcome everybody. How are you doing today? It's very nice to have you here. And today I wanted to speak a little bit about our upcoming three-week program, Sahaja Stiti, Nervous System and Awakening, Living in True Independence from the Past. And I really hope that this theme is going to become our theme for the next few programs, as it really encompasses all the important elements, the deep recognition of presence, the recognition of the movement that independently arises here, that is prior to the mind. And it also addresses the questions that arise around the nervous system and brain and around what happens when past is present and when past affects our experience in the moment and how come it's so easy for us to lose that moment so to speak and you know when our attention really gets pulled into the symptoms that we are experiencing the sensations, the feelings, the emotions, the thoughts. But before I go there speaking about this a little more, which is what I want to do today, I also wanted to say, you know, I want to really focus in these upcoming programs on the question about awakening and the reasons, and I say reasons, the reasons, that consciously or not, we are still believing that stop us from fully trusting, from believing that awakening is possible, that is available, that it is something that we can all know and experience. You know, these unconscious or conscious, but most of the time unconscious, meaning they are there and we are agreeing with these reasons, but we are not fully conscious that we are doing that. I really want to dive a little deeper into that. I really want to bring more awareness to it and, you know, for it to become more visible. These are the deeper stories that we tell ourselves regarding why we think we can't be here in the moment. But going back to the nervous system, you know, and when past arises, and so many of you, we have been doing this with many of you for, for such a long time already, and you understand how the nervous system functions, you understand the nervous system and brain, you understand that when past is here, it really affects our experience. But it doesn't always translate yet into our ability to actually become present to what is happening in a moment. You know, so often we are not aware that it is the limits of our, of the capacity of the nervous system to be here that really are the challenge that we are experiencing in a moment. You know, we go with our stories, we go with our thinking, we go with our trying to find more understanding about what's happening. So that's one element of that. And the other is that when past is present, when we are triggered, when past really is, you know, manifest itself strongly in a moment, so often still we don't quite know how to not only recognize that, but how to remedy that in a moment. And that's one of the things I want to focus on in this program and in the upcoming programs as well. How to really, what does it mean to be present? Because, you know, even when we know all the different tricks, so to speak, right? Or we know, I, I would rather not call them tricks. I would call them um, resources, even though we know all the different resources even though we know what to do, so to speak, and yet we are doing it from a place of the past. We are doing it from the same place in which we are not able to be present to what is. That means the trigger 
really takes over, really hijacks our experience. And from that hijacked experience, we are trying to come back into the moment, not realizing that it's the same energy that guides our action. And how can we learn to recognize that? How can we learn to separate that? And how can we learn to be so single-pointedly devoted to just being present to what is actually here in this moment? You know, because that takes us out of the story, that takes us out of the past, it takes us out of the conditioning, it takes us out of the mind, it takes us out of the, you know, in so many conscious and unconscious ways, trying to understand what's happening, trying to figure out, even trying to remedy it, which so often it's still part of the same challenge, trying to remedy it, instead of being so single-pointedly I'm using that word again, single-pointedly, really committed and focused on what is actually present in a moment. So when past is present, <clears throat> and let's take a moment right now, you know, when past is present, when it affects your experience, when there's feeling, thought, sensation, emotion, and I know at times it looks very, very real. It looks like this is really what's happening. You know, that's the power of the past. You know, can we really take a moment to absolutely, with devotion, with kindness, and we can all do it right now, to simply notice what is actually present right now in this moment on the level of sensations wherever you are sitting right now. Good, good, beautiful. And notice that the moment you do that, you know, everything else falls away. There's just that this moment, right? Noticing what is. And I understand that it's easier right now as we are sitting together and maybe not so much is going on right now. And it's more difficult when we are in the throes of it, when so much arises, when there's so much energy and activity in the mental, physical, emotional, that it's harder to do that. And yet, with kindness, with devotion, can I notice, can I just be here for a moment, right? Can I notice what is present? Good, good, beautiful. You know, instantaneously we are here, right? And also it begins to help to regulate the nervous system too. And so we are less likely to follow that this regulated nervous system and the sensations and thoughts, feelings, emotions that arise here, we are more likely to just simply stay here. You know, that's so, so very powerful, right? And another element that is really important, and I'm not going to speak so much about this, but more in the program, you know, to be able to notice what happened. When did it happen? What, what caused this? Was there an interaction? Was there some words? Was there something you were reading, thinking about, seeing, speaking with somebody? Because so often just catching that moment and because that's where we lose the moment, right? Catching that and being able to be present to that is so extremely powerful. So I want to invite you all to join me in this program and in the upcoming programs that will be drawing on this theme and other themes, of course. And if you are enjoying these videos, please like, please share, please subscribe, uh, please comment. You know, that really helps with the YouTube algorithm. It helps 
for this to be more visible, for more people to benefit from this. And I'm very much looking forward to seeing you in our next program.